All right, today we are here to work on a really good stretch. Um, it really works great on the hamstrings. It also is great for um, kind of opening up the hips, which ultimately can help with lower back pain. So this is a really good stretch. It doesn't take super long to do. The best place to do it is in a stairway. If you don't have a stairway, you can do it um, kind of in a doorway with like a step stool or something like that. It's really good to have, be able to hold on to something because you don't want to have to be worried about your balance because you really want to get some good stretches going. So you want to be in a place where you can really um, have some help with arms and railings and countertop, anything like that. So, so part of the fact you're going to see a lot of my backside, but it, it's going to help you when you go to do it to kind of see what you're trying to move. All right. So uh, the first thing you do is, is you're going to put your foot on the stairway um, with your knee bent um, like this. Um, and so, and if you're really tight in through here, maybe you just want to do the first step. Um, if you really want to get a super duper stretch, you can go up higher. Um, just kind of listen to whatever body part that's tight that you're trying to loosen up for this. So you're going to start here and you're going to lean forward and lean back. I'm just going to do everything three times. If you're super tight and you have plenty of time, you can certainly do it five, six, ten times, whatever. Um, but I like to do this after I run. Um, so I don't have a lot of time, so, but getting it, just doing it three times is great. So, okay. All right. So you're going to lean forward and lean back. So you're working in through the back side, but you're also working on the hip flexor on the other side. So make sure you lean back. Then you're going to take your hips side to side. So just kind of sway them side to side. And then you're going to go ahead and kind of twist into it. Good. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're, it's lean forward, lean back, lean forward, lean back, lean forward, lean back. And then you're going to go side to side. One, two, three. And then you're going to twist. One, two, three. Okay? Next, you're going to go ahead and straighten out the knee and just put your heel on the step. Um, and you're going to lean forward. Now, as you can see, my right hamstring is pretty darn tight so i don't get forward too much but i do feel a really awesome stretch there and then you're going to go side to side one two three and then twist one two three good then you're going to do the other side and you're going to lean forward and lean back again you're working this hip flexor here so don't be afraid to get a good lean back and that's where the railings come in nice because you can really stretch it back and then side to side. Make sure you're keeping your head up and that you're not staring down at your foot. It's not that exciting because you want to keep everything in alignment and get a better stretch. So, and then a little rotation, two, three, four. And you notice I'm kind of almost like snapping it, you know, like, so it's not like a really slow, which you can do, it doesn't, but you get a little bit more impact if you make it a little more moving okay so next you're gonna i call this the l feet so you're gonna have the foot that's on the ground parallel to the step and then this one's gonna be going like up the step you want your belly button in between your feet you're gonna go down and back down and back same gig side to side one two three and then a little twist one two three Okay, again, pardon my back side, but now you're going to have the other foot parallel, the other foot going up the stair, and again, in between. So you're leaning in between your two legs. And then side to side. One, two, three, and then a little twist. One, two, three. Good. All right, this is actually the last one, So, and this is the... It's kind of wackadoodle here, but you're going to be parallel to the step, and then you're going to take this other one and bring it up here. This is really hitting that whole lateral. The last one we did was more medial, and you're going to kind of aim towards this knee, down, and back. Two. And this is where the being able to hold on helps. Two, 
three, and then a twist. One, two, three. Okay? And then the other side, parallel to the step, going up, and take it down and back. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and then one, two, three. All right, there you go. There you have it. You can do it before or after you go for a walk or play pickleball or whatever your sport of choice is. Um, and you can try to do it every day. That's uh, what we try to do in our household and it keeps everything good. Have a good one.